Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see useful Odoo 17 URLs. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to configure or how to create a new configuration file or how to update a existing configuration file, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo development. And here you can see different playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases if you didn't subscribe this channel guys please subscribe it will help me a lot all right so let's back to our main topic like useful web urls so let's talk about here so this is the main let's say if you go to the back end side of the odoo you can just use here the url right after that the web once you click here you will redirect to the back end side after that let's say if you want to go to in the portal side i mean in the website account then you can use slash my and here you can see different menus available for the sales order for the invoices for the this is invoices right then after the address and you can also change here the password so this is Odoo 17 portal URL, all right? After that, let's say you want to change your own portal account, then you can just use slash my slash account. So it will redirect to this form and here you have to fill your all the informations correctly. So this is all about the user useful URLs, but let's say the admin useful URL. So here we can just use 99, right? after that we can use here web login so it will directly redirect to this login page and once you click here you don't have an account right so it will redirect to the sign up page so you can actually create a new user here so web slash sign up okay after that let's say i already have account right so i'm going to hear the web slash login if you want to reset your password you can just use web slash reset underscore password and here you can just add your username or the email address right after that let's say you want to manage the database so once you visit this web database manager it will automatic you can see here this operations backup of this database or duplicate this database or let's say delete this database right you can also create a new database you can restore the existing database and one more thing is you can also reset the master password so this is the master password and guys if you remember last time we created a new configuration file right so this admin underscore password and you can see here this is encrypted password is here so this encrypted password you have to pass here in the master password in each and every operation here so this is the main permission so let's say i'm going to delete this duplicate account or let's say the delete this database right so master password is required or let's say the backup this is the web database manager another thing is the selector so let's say if you have a multiple databases here right then you can see here the list of databases and you can just select the specific database and you can redirect to that database let me go to the back end side all right so once i will go to the login so this is the login screen this is the sign up right and this is the recent password url for the database related you can just go to the web slash database slash selector if you have a multiple databases then you can you have to select from here or let's say you want to do some crude operations for the databases you can open the manager the web database manager that's it so those are the useful urls for the user 
as well as for the admin user normal users and the admin users all right if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how you can disable this web database manager link and the selector link plus this option also from this screen so see you in our next session